Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about how I have been lean bulking. So this is the first time I've actually taken lean bulking very seriously. So I have been doing it for the past few months and I can honestly say that I have been feeling, seeing the greatest results. So that's why I wanted to film a video. This is just how I personally lean bulk. It is definitely not for everybody. Everybody's different. Definitely listen to your body and your body only. Do what's right for you. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys how I've been doing it. Help a few of you out there if you have any questions or anything like that. So let's get into it. But before I begin guys, please do subscribe if you aren't already for new videos every single week. Come the new year, lots more videos to come so you don't want to miss out. Okay, so just to make it a little bit easier, I've broken up the video into three different sections. Three key factors in lean bulking, three things that I have completely changed up. And that is diet, supplements, and training. Here we go. So let's start with diet first. Yeah, big thing here. So the number one thing that I focused on doing is slowly increasing my calories. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would have seen how I ate in the summertime. I did videos on like what I eat in a day. I, I eat a lot, lot, lot more now. A lot more calories, guys. So I slowly started adding in more calories. It was very gradual because I needed my body to adjust, feel it out. I needed to see how I was reacting to upping the calories. You don't want to completely spike and throw yourself off that way. It's just not healthy. It's just not a healthy way to go about it. So I slowly increased my calories. I started to add in more carbohydrates. All right, if you guys watched my channel for a while, you would see in the summertime, I did very low carb. Carbs are essential for muscle building and they also give you the energy you need to lift that heavy weight, which is gonna help you build that muscle, girlfriend. When it comes to carbs, I have been incorporating them into every single meal now, not just in the morning, every meal. So I've been eating things like English muffins, bread, bread in general, nothing like white bread. I don't, I still stay away from the white bread, but I'm eating wheat bread again. I'm starting to eat a lot of potatoes. So yes, that's not a complex carb, but it is substantial enough for me to get the energy that I need. So I know what you guys are probably wondering, do I count my calories? Okay, do I count macros? And the answer is right now, no, I am not. Right now, I am just going based off of how my body feels more than anything. For the most part, I eat the same types of foods every day. So I mentally have a tally of what I'm eating and if I'm eating enough. So I don't feel the need to have to track every time I eat. I feel okay with this. This is what I'm comfortable with. Right now, there's definitely um, a reason why people do count their macros and it's definitely helpful for sure. But right now for me, I'm loving the way I'm going about it, so. And lastly, for diet, a big, big deal, protein. Aiming for my body weight in grams of protein. So I weigh about 120 pounds right now. So I am aiming for 120 grams of protein, baby girl, and then some. So if I go over, that's great. But you need to have that protein to get those gains or else your body is just gonna eat away at itself, honestly, all right? If you're not supplementing it enough, girl, what are you doing? So when it comes to protein, I am eating, this is what I added into my diet that I wasn't eating before, red meat. Now, I know high in saturated fat, I know I'm gonna hear a lot of that, but I am working out extremely consistently, a lot throughout the week, so it's okay, I am burning it off, and I'm also eating a lot of lean, lean, lean beef, like filet mignon, and cutting off any extra fat. For me and my body type, I feel like incorporating the red meat has helped me significantly, not only in muscle gain, but in energy levels, okay? The iron, I feel just a lot stronger overall, and there, I'm telling you, girl, red meat makes me get a pump like nothing else. Chicken doesn't compare, turkey doesn't do it, it's red meat. So I don't go overboard, I just eat it a few times throughout the week. I'll definitely do a whole what I eat in a day video of how I'm lean bulking so that you guys can see throughout my whole day how I'm preparing, when I'm eating what, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so this leads me into my next point, supplements. These are a huge, 
huge help for me because I find it so freaking difficult to get the right amount of protein in. It's hard. It's very, very hard work. I simply just can't stomach that much protein in real food. I try, I really do. But 120 grams is a lot of freaking protein. Let's be real. <laughs> so supplements are a godsend for me and I don't know where I would be without them. So the supplements that I am using right now, let's talk protein first, protein supplements. I'm using 100% whey from Optimum Nutrition. In the flavor chocolate, really, really good. I tried different flavors and I'm not really feeling it. Chocolate's just the classic way to go. Tastes like Nestle's chocolate milk. You know when you were a kid? That's why I like it, so. So I'm drinking two of those a day at about 25 grams a pop, so that's 50 right there. It's almost half of my protein intake for the day, yeah. So yes, I've been incorporating them, and I swear right off the bat, as soon as I started upping my protein shakes, my body looked like different, like right off the bat. Within the first week, I said, whoa, even James said, he's like, you, you look different. On top of that, I am taking a separate protein shake at night, casein. Casein is a slow digesting protein because as you're sleeping, you sleep what, eight hours a night, you're going without fueling your body. And professional bodybuilders will actually set their alarms in the morning, wake up and eat a meal. I'm not about to do that. <laughs> I like my sleep too much. So casein's really good um, to kind of get that slow supplement of protein throughout the night to keep your body going so that you aren't depleting your gains. You don't want to wake up with no gains. So the casein that I use is also from Optimum Nutrition. That is a brand that I absolutely 100,000% swear by. It is very clean, high quality ingredients. I feel great. A lot of protein shakes in the past have given me severe gas, like to the point where I can't do nothing. Like I don't feel good. I feel ill. <laughs> Not Optimum Nutrition. I swear by Optimum Nutrition. They're the bomb. I trust them. The next supplement that I've been adding to my bulk, for the first time ever, mind you, I've never ever used this before, creatine. Creatine, oh, let me tell you. Creatine has completely changed my body. I do believe that. <laughs> There's different forms of creatine. I'm currently using one from Optimum Nutrition as well. <laughs> That's my brand. The one that I'm taking is actually in pill version because your girl's drinking a lot of shakes throughout the day and I don't think that I can stomach another type of shake. Like, I just can't do that. I can't drink that much. <laughs> so I've been taking it in pill version and it's been super freaking helpful. So I take a creatine monohydrate and the good thing to know is that creatine is super safe. Just like whey protein, it's probably one of the safest supplements that you can take. Basically, in a nutshell, what it does is it pumps your muscles up, <laughs> okay? In the simplest term. What it actually does is it draws water from your body and puts it into your muscles. So it's gonna actually make them larger. For those of you struggling like me, I feel like when I eat right and exercise, no matter what I do, I'm naturally kind of thin. I kind of look like skinny, kind of frail. That's just like my body type. It's hard for me to kind of gain the muscle mass and really bulk up. Creatine has been a significant help. So I know, for example, James stays away from creatine. He's already has that natural build to him. He doesn't need creatine. So it definitely helps me. That's just me. The one thing you do want to make sure though is since it does draw water from the rest of your body, you have to stay super hydrated or it will dehydrate you which will also lead to bloating, by the way. So you don't wanna bloat, okay, nobody likes that. Stay super, super hydrated if you do decide to take creatine. So that's the only thing. Um, it has helped me perform better at the gym as well. I do have a lot more energy. I can lift heavier, I truly believe it. Creatine is something that I'm actually shocked that I didn't take before. So the first week, I will admit, it took me a little bit of getting used to. I almost had a little bit of discomfort. I felt the bloat. Okay, I felt it. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked it. And then once my body kind of acclimated, I started with one pill, even though two is the dose, I kind of started with one, then took the other one later in the day. You know, then I started taking them together and now I feel really good to the point where I don't think I'm ever gonna stop taking creatine, so yeah, creatine. Okay, and the last supplement that I've added in to my bulking season is um, a pre-workout, you guys. I used to never take pre-workouts. 
at most like vitamin drinks, like little energy drinks. But pre-workouts and I never got along. I never liked the feeling. I think it was a lot of the reason was because James would have me drink his C4. And C4 makes me die. Okay, you gotta go with what's right for you, girl, not what's right for other people. So that wasn't for me. And I have been drinking fuel, which is really good. It's a gentler kind of pre-workout to the point where you're not getting these tingles and these shakes and feeling. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I just want a clean energy. So I've been drinking fuel. Um, I've tried the peach rings, which is pretty good. And the strawberry kiwi, which I'm drinking right now. And that one's even better. So love that one. This is a really nice pre-workout and it has absolutely helped to fuel my workouts, give it longevity. And I also noticed that it makes me sweat, girl. I instantly start to sweat, which is good. It feels good, girl. So, mm, pre-workout, baby, because you need to fuel your body, which leads me into my next topic here, my next point, how you train. This is how I'm training, girl. Pre-workout helps me to do what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I started to do differently, adding into my routine, is Progressive overloading, you knew I was gonna say that, girl. So basically, in a nutshell, slowly increasing weight. If you want those gains, you're gonna have to move some weight, girl. I think it's a combination of eating more and the supplement intake, the creatine, things like that, the pre-workout. Your girl's been lifting heavy and she's feeling good about it. I'm lifting weight I never thought that I would be. Now, please do keep in mind this is a very gradual thing. It's not something where, you know, you're, you're used to 10 pounds and all of a sudden you jump to 50 pound squats. Like, you wanna make sure that you are gradually lifting heavier. You don't wanna shock your body, you don't wanna hurt your body. You wanna start developing muscle slowly so that you can lift this heavy weight properly. So what comes with progressive overloading other than slowly adding in weight is the type of exercises. The big thing that I've incorporated even more, I've always incorporated this, but more now than ever are compound exercises. Most of my workouts now are strictly compound exercises, such as squats, deadlifts, lunges, hip thrusts, things like that. Okay. Isolations are cool, but compounds are what's gonna actually get you, get that mass going, distributed all over your body. Compounds work several muscle groups at the same time. That's what you wanna aim towards. Definitely want those compound lifts. Definitely want to start increasing that weight. And don't be afraid to challenge yourself. I used to be afraid saying, I can't lift that weight. Slowly got up to it. Now you go, I lifted that weight. You're damn right, girl, you can do it. So branching off from that, I'm basically doing the same exercises over and over and over and over again. Cause you want to build, you want those gains, you want to build the muscle mass in those areas. So everything I pretty much told you just kind of repeated over and over. I don't mix up my workouts and do all this, the crazy different workouts each and every day because I'm trying to actually centralize and build certain muscles. So you wanna kinda of keep it the same type of exercises so that you can get better and lift heavier. I know you're probably wondering, what about cardio? Nope. <laughs> Other than just warming up on the treadmill, I kinda of just like walk for five to seven minutes just to warm up my body. I don't do any low intensity like cardio, nothing. No long walks, no running, no. So I do hit probably like two, three times a week max at about only like five to 10 minutes each. So that is high intensity interval training. And what that's gonna do is it's going to be hard, fast, hit, sweat, burn that fat fast, just to kind of keep me in line a little bit and not put on too much of the excess, like the excess fat. But I am not devoting time every day to sit there and do cardio. I'm just focusing mostly on weight training and gaining muscle mass, so. Let me briefly just talk to you about how scared I was to lean bulk. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was terrified. I didn't wanna do it, but I did wanna do it at the same time. I wanted certain goals that I couldn't seem to get to, but I was afraid 
here's what I was afraid of happening. I was afraid by lean bulking, just my abs kind of going away. I was afraid of gaining too much body fat where my tone would just kind of be just gone. <laughs> I was afraid of the bulk going in the wrong places, I guess, in the midsection and not towards the places that I wanted it to go. But it's really, it's just, it's not the case. I feel powerful and strong and clean. I do not feel like I thought I would feel, which makes me love this process even more. I will show you guys some before and after pictures. Everything that I wanted goal-wise is, is happening for me, put it that way. So the number one thing that I suggest if you're trying to do something similar to this is to not be afraid to eat because I was. When I first started, I was afraid to eat these carbs. I was afraid to eat too much because I didn't want negative effects. I didn't want, like I said before, things to not go how I wanted. I am not afraid to eat now, okay? You, bur you, you train, girl, you're burning it up. It's going to those muscles as they should. If you want different kinds of goals and you can't seem to be getting it from your current regimen, it's okay to switch it up, okay? It's all about trial and error. Everybody's body's different, you know? You, it, one thing doesn't work for everybody. So as you can see with the before and after picture, the before picture, I was just, nothing wrong with the before picture, but I just felt a little skinny. I didn't have that much energy when working out. Uh, legs were a little thin, you know what I mean? I didn't have as much curve. Now I feel like I feel stronger, my muscle mass is obviously just bigger. I'd gain more weight, but just in the right areas. And I feel like I have significantly more curves. So yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you out there. If you are thinking about trying to lean bulk and you kind of don't know how to go about it, this is just how I go about it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below your thoughts and definitely comment down below if you have any questions at all. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.